All right, guys, how's it going? I do apologise for the video being slightly later than normal. The short version of the story, I ended up going out with clients, we ended up really drunk, I was in no fit state to record the video, and I'm sitting here at half past 11 on the 1st of December 2019, share unofficial Blender news. What a segue that was! Let's take a look at the Blender developing meeting notes. Blender 2.81 is released, most of us know that by now. Steam and Snap builds are fine, Microsoft Store builds are still to come, not a problem. They may do a release as in 2.81a, and this is because of a Mac issue. I don't use a Mac, I'm sensible. Sorry, sorry. So Blender 2.82, they're pretty much focusing on bugs and core development. The goal is to be sure, not setting ourselves more than we can deliver, so they're not biting off more than they can chew, and that's sensible development, or it is in my opinion. So 2.83, I did have a quick look at what they're going to do, and this is scheduled for release in May the 14th, 2020. Now you're probably thinking that's a long time away, but in terms of development, not that much. So the thing you guys are interested in, changes in new features. So I mentioned this a couple of weeks ago, there's a big focus on sculpting tools. So brush parameters to modify the strength of the brush during the stroke, nice one. Clay strips, new clay brush, enable symmetry with dyno topology disabled. Couple of animation tools, graph editor, curved decimate, I'll need to check that one out actually. Tools, tool system, make smooth and randomised modal operator, definitely need to check that one out. It's pretty much performance related issues and user interface stuff, so check out the developer meeting notes for more information. And in other news, AMD released Radon Pro Render 2.1 for Blender. Now, I'm an Octane render, I have been for the last 4 or 5 years. I don't really know much about Pro Render, so drop a comment, tell me how it is, I might take a review of it. And let's just go straight into tutorials before my head actually explodes. Blender 2.8, Texture Paint Tutorial, Stencil and Alpha Mask. Great stuff. This one's from Espose Academy, how to add background images or reference pictures in Blender 2.8. Now this one really did catch my attention, converting photo into PBR, normal, rough, height, seamless texture in Blender Compositor. Now this is a pretty damn extensive tutorial and it also comes free with an add-on, so check that one out, it's probably one that I definitely recommend you do check out. And this one is called Adding Custom Bone Shapes in Blender 2.81. Remember, all links in the description down below, you are welcome. And this is from all of 3D, Blender Tutorial, Wind and Physics Simulation, nice one. And from Ducky 3D, Abstract Eve Animation in Blender 2.81. And from the Natural Art Freak, Blender 2.8 Camera Tracking, and it's part 2, so obviously there's a part 1. And I've seen the final animation for this, the tutorials are an hour long, so it's pretty extensive. But the results the guy gets at the end are Mwah, perfect man, well done. And just to put a little bit of spotlight on another channel, Blender NPR. So this is kind of very similar to my show, except it's better produced, better content, and the guy's a lot easier to understand, so I highly recommend you check it out. <laughs> oh, I do not do myself any favours. But I like doing this guy a favour, it's Node Editor Tutorial 44, stylizing nodes using QT Skin Generator. This guy deserves more subscribers. It's pretty hard to teach coding and it's pretty hard to teach 3D coding, so give the guy a subscribe. And let's just move it straight on to add-ons. Scatter is now officially released. I still don't know too much about this plugin, I'll be honest. It's a one-click solution that lets you create grass, it has a whole bunch of objects. Check it out, it's on discount because it's Black Friday, it's available in Blender Market. And jumping on to Blender Market, in fact, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. This one's available on Gumroad and it's Blender Procedural Rope Shader and it's available free. Th so thank you to the artist that created it. Now we're back on to Blender Market. Easy reference, the best way to add reference images in Blender Viewport. Now, it's $11 at the moment, is it worth the purchase? You tell me. And this one's from CG Cookie, so you know it's going to be good. Anatomic Bust. So it's very clever, it's essentially a head. Now why you would use this, I have no idea, but maybe you're doing a medical stuff, so it might be pretty good. And it might be good maybe just to even sculpt on top. 
And let's move on to animation of the week. Animation of the week. I really like this one. Cube juices. Now, there is a couple of errors. Let me grab my coffee. But it really is a nice render. So, well done. Animation of the week. And it was kind of difficult to pick an image of the week. But I really like this one. Simple workroom. And the reason I like it, the lighting in the background is really good. So that's been your unofficial Blender news. Thank you for watching. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm away to go and lie in a dark corner and die. You know what to do. Peace.